Good evening. Are y'all joining me this evening? It is very late, but I'm here. How are y'all tonight? I thought I'd do some readings, some oracle card readings. I always like to do those, especially at night. So, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, how are y'all? <laughs> so, I'm going to be... I'm going to link something in the comments if you guys need to ask later. These are the cards that I'm using. I put them in my Amazon affiliate uh, spiritual store so y'all can see what's there. Um, but these cards are there if you guys like them. So. I have two sets of oracle cards that I just got. First one is the magic art of fortune telling. And then we have witch's kitchen oracle cards. So which one do y'all want to use? Let's look at them both and then we'll decide. So um, like I said, these are linked on my Amazon spiritual store. It's linked at the top of the comments pinned. So y'all can check these out if you like. I'm going to open these up. First, I'm opening the Witch's Kitchen Oracle. Because these look very interesting. Sorry, y'all. An ASMR. <laughs> All right. So here are the cards. They come in this green glossy box. And ooh. so ooh, the cards are kind of big, and then it comes with a book, and it has a little section about the authors and the artists on the back, which is cool. Um, ooh. These are so cool. Um, but look, it has like a silver. Um, edge. So this is what the back of the cards look like. Let's see. Has a little cauldron with the pentacle. And looks like some galaxy and some green stuff coming out. So I really like these cards because I saw them online. But I like them because it's like the kitchen. And there's the little potion. You can see the cauldron on the stove, all the herbs. And this card is expulsion. And this card is the Yarrow card. So all the kitchen witches, y'all are probably going to love these cards. They will be linked on, on the uh, pinned link. If you guys go check out my Amazon affiliate link. Um, okay, so then we have aloe vera. And I'm going to get the book. So we have like Apple and it says Forbidden. So these are just oracles. Um, then we have Annika, which is for recovery. So at the same time, you're also learning about the plant, the herb as well. At the same time as you're doing an oracle reading, which is kind of cool. So we have basil here. It says for reconciliation. I'm just going through these cards right now. And then I'm going to do the reading in a second. Okay, we have bay leaf. And these are the witches kitchen oracle cards. And I did link them in the pinned comment at the top. Ooh, blackberry. Okay, so this one is invasive blackberry. Black pepper, of course, banishment. And I'm going to look at more of these cards. Oh, there's a cat. Catnip bound. <laughs> look, she looks like velvet. Kitley. Chamomile relax. 
I really like these cards, y'all. Look at the artwork and the photography. This probably was done like on the computer, but it's so cute. Chili pepper. Ferocity. Ooh, chocolate. Aphrodisiac. Look at the chocolate fountain. Aren't these cards so cool? <laughs> okay. You said you'd wear this mask to make people mad? <laughs> <laughs> yes cinnamon reignite close gossip coriander immortality cumin faithfulness Dandelion wishes. I'm gonna go a little faster. Ignacia, Ignacia, fortify. Elderflower warding. Eucalyptus breathe. I'm gonna do a reading for y'all in a second. So hold on. Garlic repel. Ginger power. Hemp expansion. Just showing y'all the cards for now. Honey, Ambrosia, Lavender for sleep. Thank you for using my link. That's so precious, precious of you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Lemon bitterness, Mandrake impassive. Look, they made the little Mandrake. So cute. Um. Milk, milk thistle intrusion. So these cards are really good for kitchen wishes, people that are into tinctures and herbs and this type of magic. Mugwort intuition. I really like the artwork on these. It's so cool. Mustard faithful. You know, faithful as a mustard seed. Nettle caution. Oh, thank you, client. Casey would like to know what's near in love and money for me. Okay, I'm not doing the reading yet. I'm still going through the cards, but um, hold on. I'll, I'll try to keep yours in mind. Hold on. So, nutmeg, it's luck. I only have a few cards left. Then I'm going to get to the reading. Olive is peace. Onion is tears. Oh. Death, parsley. I wonder why they chose parsley for death. Maybe it used to be poisonous or something. You eat too much. Patchouli, purpose. And then we have rose, which is romance. Ooh, I like how that perfume. <laughs> I, it looks like I can smell this. That card, <laughs> the rose and stuff. Memories, oh, rosemary's for memories. And. Sage is for purification. Protection. Salt and protection. Seaweed is prediction. St. John's wort. Despirited. Okay. Sugar, sweetness. I have like all this candy. <laughs> That's so cute. And I have three more. Okay, tea tree is binding. So you can use tea tree to bind. Time. Courage. This for time. Turmeric. Diversity. And the last one, witch hazel for sensitivity. All right. <clears throat> So those are the kitchen witchery and it does come with a book to explain the cards a little bit in more detail. So for example, nettle, it would say go, you get too close, you'll feel my sting. My leaves protect from almost anything. So the guidance 
there's guidance, a recipe, and what will be revealed. That's how these cards work. So, and nettle says, and silk, and let me see. Okay, so the guidance would say, danger, I advise you not to dive into a situation. Head first. Okay. So let me shuffle these cards. I'm going to do a quick reading with these. I'm going to pull about 10 cards. So I believe that with client Casey wanted to know what was in her near love and money future. So what was in the future for her for love and money? I'm going to shuffle a few times. These are new cards. I'm going to break them in. Break these things in. You're the first person that's going to get rid of Aren't you lucky? Kate, uh, client Casey. Okay, so I'm going to pull maybe two cards for you. One for love, one for money. So the first card I'm pulling for you, client Casey, is for love. Okay. Ignacia, Ignacia, fortify. This means strengthen your love. Or your love will be strengthened. Or your love life will be strengthened and it will be fortified. Now I'm going to look it up and read you what it means as guidance. So when, when you're defined, oh, when you're, so here is the guidance. When your defenses are down and you're feeling low, allow me to strengthen your weakened resolve. Don't be fooled by my pretty dainty petals, for I have the power to enhance your immune system. Okay. So what can be revealed? It's most important that um, this is not... Um, used to turn you away from anything and it also lends you protection and shields and activates um, your strength and it also adjusts through periods of emotional and spiritual transition it has healing properties as well it'll help boost your clairvoyant and psychic abilities as well as restore your energy to enhance and raise your cone of power when working in ritual magic so basically if you are worried about your love life strengthen it using spell work using um your own self make tinctures from this helps you get through emotional issues also um, strengthens your immune system of course and it also helps you with um, spiritual transition an emotional transition and healing. So I don't know what your relationship is doing right now, but you definitely need to strengthen yourself in order to have to deal with what's to come in your love life. Okay. Next is you asked about some money. Lemon. Uh oh, lemon is bitterness. Okay, so let's look up what lemon is going to give us guidance toward. So I feel that lemon, like, you know, by itself with no sugar is very bitter and it could leave you feeling sour, like a situation in money could leave you feeling sour, um, time to suck it up as emotional hurts or righteous anger start to grow. Invite your purifying juices of the lemon to cleanse away any resentment and add a few drops to the bath and perform a cleansing ritual as you heal from the bitterness of whatever, you know, issue that is at hand right now. Also, um, it says, beware. Um, this is also a very powerful medium in the dark arts and could be also used for harm. So you are powerfully effective and activating or cursing or doing some type of curses or spells with lemon be very careful use a protection also it this lemon also absorbs the lower energies that attract and can boost your spells 
to become more powerful and mindful of your attention when you're using lemon in your spell work. So this also represents, you know, um, a, a bit of bitterness and sourness when it comes to money at this time. So be very aware. Don't, you know, don't get involved in any type of lending or giving people money. Um, be very careful how you spend your money right now and try not to allow, um, you know, negative thinking or, you know, bitter thinking to affect how you see your money in abundance. So stay, keep positive, but, you know, do not do anything very risky right now with money. I wouldn't. So I hope that those cards were helpful to you, Brooks Franklin. All right. Lemon. Like Limon. All right. I'm going to pull two more cards. So this is going to be for anyone in general. Just, I'm just going to pull some random cards. Whoever this is meant for, they'll know. Okay. Immortality. Coriander. So I'm going to look this up. But I, I feel that like immortality is not just like physical, but also spiritual. Like you've been here a long time. You ain't going nowhere. You've been here before. Your spirit is ancient. And it's just like... You, it's like you were born already knowing stuff and <laughs> nothing ever really surprises you. You don't get super excited about everything because it's like you've been here so long and you have so much wisdom naturally and it's almost as if you're here to help other people. Um, and it also represents, you know, being indestructible, your spirit, your soul. You're indestructible. You have allowed nothing to stand in your way. You've laughed and faced many obstacles. Now I'm reading from the little book. Um, good news relates to a project that you're working on right now. And you also have um, a lot of knowledge or um, and wisdom. And you're also going to be acknowledged for something that you've been doing. And you will have a lasting mark on the world, or at least your world. Everlasting success. Don't give in to your fears of change. Instead, add coriander to your diet. And it will help you become more alert and give you more spiritual motivation. While it also helps your body achieve optimum health and longevity. So it also helps with your affairs of the heart. So in your love life. Um, coriander is like, you know, the same or if it's the seed, but it's basically cilantro. Okay. So get you some pico de gallo with some cilantro. Chop it up and eat it for your immortality, your wisdom. And your longevity and health as well as your um, is not uh, as long as well as your dealings of the heart. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more card. Here we go. Lavender. Okay, we all know sleep. Get your sleep. You need rest this time of year. It's coming up. It's gonna be very you know hectic. There's lots of illness going around. Y'all see, I got my mask on. I ain't finna take, you know, get no risks. So get your rest, get your relaxation on. And I'm sure there's more to it. So I'm going to look that up and tell you more detail. So lavender is responsible. Okay. As a responsible magical practitioner, it's better to light candles instead of burning them on both ends. So that's like a metaphor for don't, do too much, you know, late nights, parties, work, or home commitments have taken their toll on you. The luggage under your eyes is proof of sleepless nights. So do yourself a favor, favor and get early night sleep. The scent is blessed with properties to relieve you from insomnia, to induce sleep, and most important, your well-being on all levels. 
So um, just relax, be less stressful, play some, you know, lavender under your pillow or a few drops of essential oil in your temples. Before you go to bed, um, groggy mornings will soon be a thing of the past. Refresh and vigorous when you awaken. So sweet dreams. So basically, this is also saying um, right now we're needing our rest more than ever. So don't overexert yourself. Don't overdo it. Take your time out and rest. That's what I've been doing, as y'all can see. Mm -hmm. Um, You said it's midnight. You don't know how much sleep you're going to get. When, as soon as you hit that pillow, you're going to be gone. You're going to be out. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do like a couple more cards and then open the other deck. see what those are about. I like this. It's like it also teaches you at the same time about herbs and stuff. So I'm excited to use these for myself. All right. I'm going to pull one for me. Uh -huh. I'm going to be selfish. This could be for me and y'all, but I'm going to take this one. Clothes. Ooh, gossip. Well, we already know that's going to be everywhere every day, every time. There's always gossip online, darling. We're going to pull another one. Ooh, seaweed. Prediction. Yes. So let's read what seaweed is. Seaweed. Okay, a little weather magic is in the cards when you hang me outside your door. For I can predict what is to come. Your desire to know the future has been bubbling under the surface as you, as your prophet, uh, as your prophetic potential lays dormant, waiting to be discovered. Your natural abilities will soon rise, and scrying into a pool of water will become your favorite witchy pastime, as you unite with the undines, the elements, the elemental spirits of water. Focus on moon lore and the ebb and flow of tides. Okay, okay, okay. Um, focus on the ebb and flow of tides to raise winds, cause storms, and work with the chaotic forces of nature, connecting the sea witch within. Using knot magic will enable you to control and generate the winds that will blow you right on course. So drop, so dive in deeply to retrieve the lost treasures. That is your birthright. I will support you as you sail towards the horizon and your destiny. Okay. Um, seaweed has been used medicinally for thousands of years. So basically, if you see, if you put some seaweed outside your door, it will help you predict the weather. Wow. And also aid you in weather magic so if you are one of those witches that like to control the weather you need to go get you some seaweed and i'm so mad at myself because i just threw some away <laughs> the reason why i threw it away is because it was like you know those little seaweeds that you can buy and eat or make sushi with but it was expired so i threw it out but i could have kept it and used it in you know, weather magic. Because <laughs> some days you just want it to rain so you can get out of doing something. So, I'm going to see if it works. I'm like, give me some seaweed. I'm going to hang it outside and I'm going to tell the weather to do what it do. I need it to rain today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get the other cards out. But these cards are linked in the pinned link in, in my um, Amazon affiliates. So witchy, uh, the Witch's Kitchen Oracle cards is what I was reading. So next card, the Magic Art of Fortune Telling. I'm sure these are going to be more in depth. I haven't opened these yet. Yeah, I'm going to open them now. You're, you hope for rain too? Sometimes I do. After this, I'm going to go outside. It's getting 
cooler, so I think we're going to have fall finally this year. <laughs> Autumn weather. So this is, these are also linked in that permanent uh, pinned link in my Amazon affiliate spiritual store. So I like these because it's like, has a little gold. So there's 52 Oracle cards here. This is what it looks like when you open. I think these are about the size of some, a larger tarot. What are these? Oh. So these, I don't know if these are actual Oracle cards. They could be. Like, okay, so basically on one side, they give you a symbol and what it means. And on the other side, it teaches you about the symbol. So you're learning at the same time as you are doing Oracle readings. So um, that's kind of cool. Uh, it does. There's a lot of palm reading, and it gives you the the lines and what they're for on the back. So, this you can learn how to palm read with these cards. This is cool. I didn't know that. Um, everyone loves flashcards. They have lifeline, fate line, the history of palmistry. So it gives you the palm. It's like a book, but in cards. And then they have like colors, like color magic, symbols. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I could teach y'all something since we can't really do any oracle reading with it. Hmm. We'll do symbols since that's one of the things that we love to do over here. So scrying, when you scry in a crystal ball or a scrying mirror or a bowl of water, sometimes you see symbols, right? So like many forms of fortune telling, the symbols you see during scrying are personal to you and you'll have to use your intuition and mental associations and things in order to decode their meaning. It's a skill that improves with practice. However, there are a few symbol interpretations to help you out. So, like, apple, which means knowledge. Then we have book which is education, butterfly, which is a spiritual transformation, circle, completion, cup, love, cup represents love and strong emotions, dagger represents a warning, a door means new adventures, eye means an awakening, a fence means limitations, a kite represents freedom, Mountain represents challenges. Scissors represent a breakup. And the tree represents relationships as far as deciphering, scrying symbols, you know. Um, seeing numbers, words, or letters can invoke personal meaning for you in your own life. Numbers usually mean a length of time or a quantity of something. Letters could mean someone's initials or a location. Words that have certain association uh, associations with you can also appear. So, scrying. So, if y'all really want to know uh, different forms of divination, definitely get these cards. They are the... Magic Art of Fortune Telling Oracle Cards. And I'm sure there's a way you can use them to divine as well as learn at the same time. So these are also like uh, fire scrying. Uh, yeah. Wax scrying, like how to read the candle wax. All your questions. Smoke scrying. Water scrying. Black mirror scrying, crystal ball scrying. Wow, that's pretty good. The history of scrying. What is scrying? So this is what this whole deck goes through. It's like scrying, palmistry, 
tesselgraphy, which is, I think, like tea, tea leaves, maybe. Clairvoyance and then dowsing with pendulum. So this gives you all the ways how to divine and then it teaches you what all the meanings are in certain things. And then it allows you to use the cards as well. Probably there's a set in here, I'm sure. Um, and then uh, there's a bunch of symbols and their meanings on some of these cards. So these are pretty cool. Interpreting answer, energy dousing, map dousing, finding lost objects, how to read the pendulum, dousing rods, a witching stick, the pendulum, and they have symbols. History of dousing. What is dousing? Tools for the clairvoyant. Crystals. Oracle cards. Tarot cards. Ouija board. Runes. Interpreting symbols. Okay, so. Ooh, black cat. So, interpreting symbols. Black cat means psychic power. Okay. Coins mean money is coming your way. Feathers means you are watched over by guardian angel or spirits. Horse means travel, untamed emotions. Peculiar scent or a particular scent that you keep smelling. A spirit is nearby. Rabbit means success and pregnancy. Repeating numbers, your struggles will be over soon. If you keep seeing repeating numbers. Repeating numbers, this indicates in these cards that your struggles will be over soon. So, um, unfortunately, visions are not always clear. The universe will offer them as a form of symbols to try to figure them out. For example, dreaming about an apple may mean something more, signif uh, more significant than just eating an apple. So, there's like a little quick decodes decoding symbols in these cards too cool premonition calling up of visions tells you how to do that how to develop your sixth scent dream journaling visualization and aura readings so these cards are kind of cool third eye preparing for clairvoyance well, i gotta go through these and really get into these it's almost like a book and cards tells you how to do a reading I thought these were more going to be oracle cards. Oh, here's another symbol card. And this is, I think, for like tea, tea leaves. Okay. It's cool. So it gives you like a little tea leaf chart. Mythical symbols, animal symbols, how to read the cup, the ritual. Before you do the tea, tea leaf reading, deciphering symbols, hand shape, if you see a hand and it goes deep. So you're going to learn how to do all different types of divining with these oracle cards. And even um, palm reading. And then there's a color card too. So I definitely recommend these for any type of beginner or anybody who just wants to learn how to um, read palms, do tea leaf readings, use a pendulum or scrying mirrors. Um, there's a little bit of weather magic in there. Definitely great cards for beginners or just someone who's maybe thinking about going into, you know, the fortune telling business. Oh, thank you, Ruth, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Or just doing it for fun, you know. Or just for personal use. Definitely worth learning. Uh, I, I used to um, read cards. But I only do these for mostly myself now. Or um, to get you know inner guidance. So definitely worth it. If you really want to learn. Oh, I'm going to show you all a cup I got. Then I'm going to pull some other cards that I have. In a second, you do some animal spirit. Look, y'all. Look, this is a mug. There's a piece of popcorn. It's a Harry Potter stack of books mug. 
Isn't that cool? <laughs> I got this at the bookstore. Books a million. But I thought that was cool. I, I have like a weakness for mugs. I have to buy them if I like them. I don't care. I just I have a mug collection. Look at this one. It's a... <laughs> I have so many cups. I, I could probably have a whole ball and just put all my mugs. <laughs> I love these. Mugs are so comforting when you get some tea or some coffee and just want to uh, relax to a cool cup. I'm going to do some spur animal oracle cards. And these are probably also in my link if you scroll around in there. There's so much stuff in there. Just look through it. It's all the stuff I like or some of the stuff I have. Mm -hmm. You all see some cool stuff. Okay, so this is what the outside of the cards look like. It's like an eye and a fur around the eye. So I'm going to shuffle these and I'll pull some cards. Y'all have a spirit animal. <laughs> so, let's pull the first spirit animal oracle. Ooh, turkey. Generosity. Uh-oh, somebody's going to have some generosity headed their way. This looks like an evil turkey, though. Look at that. He don't want to die for Thanksgiving. He wants you to be generous and spare his life and become a Vegetarian. And in return, the turkey spirit will lavish you with money, gifts of abundance. <laughs> okay, ladybug, we have good luck. Somebody's going to get some luck coming their way. And some generosity. Oh my goodness. Somebody got a sugar daddy out there? Huh? Child Orn. Next. Whale. Somebody got a sugar daddy. Harmony. Which one is it? Come on. Type your name. <laughs> Who just met somebody? <laughs> you said me. <laughs> Beloved Fire Nights. I knew somebody was in here with a new sugar daddy or somebody. These cards don't be lying. All right. Turtle time. He must be old. <laughs> so we have turtle and time. Take your time. Don't rush. The older the better. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. But this how you make him feel, girl. Like a phoenix. Like he's been reborn. Oh, you light his fire, baby. You say, come on. Whenever he sees you, if he says, come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> okay, next card. Uh oh, Jaguar, he got some power. Is he powerful? Who got power? Who got some power? This card represents power. So there's going to be some power. Some newfound power. Okay, the next card represents a dream, which is a lizard. So don't fall asleep. Keep your eyes open. Don't let keep them eyes open. Don't fall asleep, baby. Keep your eagle eye or your higher vision. The higher meaning of what you're doing everything for. And you will find peace. Keep your higher mind. Don't fall asleep. Okay. Turn it 
Sorry about that, fine. Uh-oh. Dog means loyalty. Someone's very loyal to you. Or they're going to be very loyal to you. So, when they're very loyal to you, that's when you have what you need. And you don't have to fear as much. <laughs> that loyalty kicks in. It's good. All right, I'm going to shuffle some more. That was for whoever got the new gold digger. <laughs> I mean, the new sugar daddy for the gold digger. Okay. Those are some gold digger cards. No, no doubt. Shuffle some more. Now let's, let's do somebody else. Same. Anybody have a question? I'm going to pick some different cards. These are more for like self-reflection and things like that. <laughs> but I guess you got your answer. Good. Got your answer. Girl. I just have all these different cards. Let's do the Halloween Oracle. <laughs> what should you move towards in your career, L.A.? Shuffle a couple times. Uh oh, beloved. Thank you, Fire Nice. Beloved, Fire Nice. Thank you. All right, so L.H. wants. To know what she should move to career wise. Okay, I'm doing the Halloween Oracle. Let's see what's coming out. Uh oh, the apple. Risk and reward. So, this means maybe you need to take a risk in your career to get the reward. So, if there's something that you've been thinking about doing that feels a bit risky, on your career choice or your career path, whatever you've been thinking of doing, whatever you've been like leaning towards but too afraid of the risk involved, this card is telling you to the risk leads to the reward. Okay, so whatever that could be, that's what it is. Okay, then we also have joy. Um, rejoicing in the present. So whatever you're doing career-wise now, be thankful, be happy for. But remember, in order to take it to the next level, you needed to get some risks going. And, and here's, I'm going to do one more card for you. <laughs> Trick or treat, which means mischief and play. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to stir the pot. Don't be afraid to talk up. Don't be afraid to take that risk. And have fun with what you do and love what you do for career. Because that's the only way you really enjoy your career and become really successful. Especially if you um, like what you're doing. So play. Have fun. Don't be afraid to speak up. Say what you want. Okay. <laughs> so, sparkle, sparkle. Mm-hmm. What's coming your way in love? What? The Daily Divine? What's coming your way in love, girl? What if nothing is coming? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull a card for you, Daily Divine. About love. Okay, ooh, the witch. An earthly weaver of the worlds. This means whatever you want to come your way in love, create it. Weave it. Write it down, baby. Do what you got. Oh, create what you want. Write down what you want. That's what's going to come your way. Whatever you want. Make sure you put some good stuff down on paper now. <laughs> okay, I'll pull one more card for your love. Oh, my God. The witch comes right back up again. And I shuffled. No lie. Midnight, okay, the most magical hour of all. So maybe do your manifesting at midnight for what you want to come in into your love life. Uh oh, Monica Seven Sprinkle Sprinkle, hey girl, how you doing? 
You a witch too, for real, Daily Divine? Thank you, Monica. Oh, I'm sorry, not Monica. Monique Seven. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Monique Seven. I called you Monica. I'm so sorry. Monique Seven. She's so generous. Okay, this one is for you, Monique. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull you three cards. I'm gonna pull you three cards. Here you go. Monique Seven. She's so generous. Ooh, the veil. The future is the veil. Your future is veiled right now. It's like has not been seen, so it can definitely be changed for the better, hopefully. Okay, forgiveness. Somebody needs some forgiveness around here. And reducing a burden. So some type of forgiveness will reduce some type of burden in your life at this time. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna pull you one more card. Uh oh. The eternal cycle begins here. This is the death card, but death also represents the end of something and the beginning of new something else. Doesn't necessarily mean physical death. It's the eternal cycle begins. Rebirth, exactly. So something old is going out, so something new can come in. Or maybe you're ending something and starting something new, or maybe a habit, or it could be this time of year is very representative of death, which is fall, and how everything is dying, and then you know, going into hibernation, and then in spring, we have the rebirth. So maybe this is a part of a cycle that you're going through at this time. Okay, so since you are so generous, I'm going to pull you one more card. Okay. The skull of light. Ooh, maybe this will be a time for your illumination or spiritual growth. The end of an old aspect of you and the beginning of a more illuminated consciousness for, you know, your spiritual life. So, that's interesting. Thank you, Monique. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> anybody have one, another question? Just got an offer to go to dinner for two hundred dollars. Oh my goodness, girl! You better go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna shuffle. Just ask, just ask a question or you know, whatever. I'll see what what I see. Thank you, Monique. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Okay, no one has another question. Looking for work overseas, we can find it. Oh my goodness. Empress. Midnight, the most magical of all hours. So maybe you need to manifest finding a job overseas around midnight. It's the most magical hour. Um, the true midnight, I don't know. The witching hour, 3 a.m. Or maybe just try both. <laughs> but it does say 12. Midnight on this card. I'll pull you another card. Um, what is, do you have another question or you still want to know about the overseas? So, um, eternal love. I don't know what this has to do with overseas. But it says, love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. So, I don't know what that has to do with, or maybe you'll find your love overseas. Maybe you'll find a man or a significant other or whoever overseas if you do get a job there. Oh my goodness. In England? Okay. Possible. 
Okay, I'll pull you one more card. Uh oh, Jack O' Lantern. Protection. So, yeah. If you go overseas, make sure you have protection. You may find your eternal love over there. And, you know, midnight is the best magical hour of all. So, manifest what you want at midnight. Okay. It's the time between today and tomorrow. And so um, it's very magical because it's like you're in a gateway or in a portal, some like in a, almost a way between between worlds or between time. And that's that's a good idea. Um you will do prospect protection spells and prosperity spells. Okay, okay. Well, good luck. Will you get a new car or lemon tea? Okay, I'm going to see what I can see. See what the card's saying for you. Will lemon tea get a new car that's not a lemon? <laughs> oh, winter. The sacredness of pausing. So, pause. Maybe you need to save up. Wait to find a perfect car. Don't be in such a rush. You know, maybe it's gonna take a second. Okay. Then zombie card comes up, which means control. There's something that you need to control in order to be responsible enough to get a car or a new car. What do you have a spending problem? Is there a reason why you know you haven't gotten the car you want yet? If there needs to be some type of control over a certain situation before that's going to happen for you. And the third car and the last car, I'm pulling about your car. Spider, community and web weaving. Okay, so this represents asking around. Do you know anyone that's selling a car? Um, maybe somebody helping you with a down payment. Maybe you doing some type of community work or work in order to... Um, get to your goals faster blah 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 blah. but definitely ask around if anybody's selling their car um maybe if anybody is you know um trying to get a way for you to earn money in the community so that you can get your car faster mm -hmm. Can you pull a car for me, General? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is the Halloween Oracle deck. This is what I'm using right now. Okay, I'm going to pull a car for you in general. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm trying to find your name. Okay, bliss, blissful. Okay. Thank you. You like my mask? Appreciate that. Okay, blissful. Dawn. General. Okay. Light. The light after the darkness. So things are going to start looking up for you. If there's any darkness or anything that you feel is not going the way that you had planned or wanted it to go, things are getting ready to change for the better. <laughs> you said it's the iPhone 13 first buy. Are you, are you gonna buy a phone with the number 13 attached to it? Good luck. Uh -huh. I like that. <laughs> that's what that's what Sasha said. How you buying a phone with no 13 on it? That's crazy. Like you're not buying a phone anyway, Sasha. You a child. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it says about the iPhone 13, shall we? What about this iPhone 13? Is it worth it? Is there any dangers involved? Is it an unlucky dollar? Is it Illuminati confirmed? Ooh, cauldron. Synergy and healing. It's a cauldron. A 
synergy and healing. Synergy. Synchronicities. Healing. I, I don't know. That that could back that that could also be a backfire. That could be like all the algorithm changes and everything starts syncing up and linking up and leading you down a road to healing that you didn't know you never needed before. <laughs> But on the 13th level, <laughs> y'all don't explain. Will you get your dream apartment? Um, let's see, shall we? Will you get your dream apartment? Now, I'll probably do a more formal reading. I was just kind of reviewing some cards and chit-chatting with y'all. I'll probably do another whole video and do like, maybe I'll do the Zodiac. That would be kind of fun. Or just October. We'll see. Thank you, Blissful Beauty. Okay, Vampire. We got that Vampire card, y'all. Emotional Intelligence. With the emotional intelligence, whoever this card is representing, then you can have anything you want with your with the emotional intelligence. You have to use it in the correct way. Um, this could mean asking nicely. It could mean manipulation from other people emotionally. It could mean so many different things. It could mean you feeling a certain way about a certain thing and taking action towards it due to your own emotional intelligence. So any situation can be altered by emotional intelligence depending on how you're using it. Or if he's using it against you or if you're using it in a way to think differently. Mm-hmm. Let me read some of these questions. You got an ongoing health issue. Can you pull one for you to see if you're going to heal soon? Sure. But of course. Sapphire. Here we go. Okay, so your ongoing health issue. Um unnecessary fear you have you have an unnecessary fear the graveyard rest peace doesn't mean you're going to die because they're you know but it just means that you have a lot of unnecessary fear that is surrounding your illness or your health so don't worry let go of the fear start planning what you're going to do when you're already healed or better that's going to help you a lot You're welcome, Sapphire Frank Sprinkle. Advice for people who lose jobs over mandated jail. Gotcha. Let's see. Advice for y'all? I already know my advice. But it still sucks. Because, like, no matter where you are in life, nothing should be forced like that upon you. Okay, werewolf, exploring wildness. This means you may need to explore other options that are more free. Free. Okay. Werewolf also represents like, you know, someone that's not like ex accepted into society, someone who's maybe a little wild, Someone who's not going to conform and be the normal, you know, sheep type people. So this can tell you, you know, as far as your job and things like that, maybe you need to explore bigger options to where you don't have to be forced to do anything anymore. It could be, you know, trying to find a business, create a business, be a contractor for yourself, work online, something. 
you know, outside of society's norms. Um, any oracle tips for beginner tarot channel? Love you. Um, if you're just going to do a tarot channel, I suggest maybe doing themes like maybe zodiacs or monthly general readings or maybe love readings and then like maybe do another video on money reading you just split it up and do like maybe a couple of readings every week that would be a great channel to start if you're trying to do a reading channel i don't think i have the discipline <laughs> it's not my true passion so that's why i don't but every now and then i do like to but if that's your passion, definitely get some different decks, get you some um, maybe like themes and go go from there. You welcome, sparkle, sparkle. All right, y'all, I'm going to be on here all day, all night. But I will show you the decks that I got. And they um, all these are definitely linked in the, that pinned link up there. Just go through and scroll through and you'll see all the things that I've selected. A lot of the stuff I've bought I actually already have. So you'll probably see some similar stuff that y'all already seen me with. Mugs, tarot cards, books that I recommend, spiritual books I recommend. And if you guys like, um, are ready for... The season, y'all go and get my Level Up Coven um, makeup sponges, ladies. Um, also get my Level Up Coven notebook journal. You can use it for Book of Shadows, whatever you want. Sketchbook, writing poetry, keeping your spells in order. Oils, you can do write down your readings in here. Do a dream journal. Get you a nice pin. There's so many different options on the stationery section, which is linked below. So, y'all, uh, shameless plug. <laughs> Check it out. The cards I was reading earlier is Witch's Kitchen Oracle, and these are linked in that um, pin link up in the description bar. So, I really like these cards for the artwork, definitely. And they teach you also about herbs and. Um, things in the kitchen at the same time so added bonus i like both of these sets are definitely teaching cards so for anybody who's like really uh, wanting to learn these cards are definitely worth getting and plus look it looks it's almost like a pinterest pin on the card how they look so cute um, and then the back looks like a cauldron with a pentacle. So comes with a book too to go into further details. And then I had the for the magic art of fortune telling oracle cards, which are also a very great way to learn. These are teaching cards on fortune telling and different methods of fortune telling. So they're scrying. Um like pendulums, crystal ball, which is also scoring, and then palm palmistry and tea, tea leaf reading. So these cards can teach you how to read tea leaves, your palms, and use a pendulum and scry as well. Had them upside down. So these are all linked there as well. And that permanent link right there. And then I'll also try to link it down there in the description later. Y'all like my mask? Oh. <laughs> appreciate that appreciate that it matches my my hat <laughs> so um you gonna spend that whole check or no just spend half of it no, <laughs> um you said justice reading who that's a good idea brenda I might start trying to do like one video or I do, I'm going to try to do like a, a uh, Zodiac one because I'm more interested in that anyway. I look fly. Thank you, y'all. Thank y'all, everybody, for tuning in. I know it's late. I haven't been on for a while. I've been trying 
this week has been so hectic. A lot of stuff is going on. And, um, the only thing that kind of make me feel normal is getting on screen and, and talking with you guys. So I appreciate y'all being so nice and showing up and <laughs> you said even with the mask. Oh, thank you so much. You want to wear this mask in public? Please do so. <laughs> I think this is the kind of mask you wear to like where masks are optional. Or a formal event. Or like just to be silly. Uh-huh. So I'm excited for Halloween that's coming up. I already got my costume. I'm excited. This is me my first time dressing up as this person this year. Um <laughs> Gonna be um, Erica Badu for Halloween. She's somebody that I really like, so I'm gonna see if I can um, emulate her style. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can do. And don't worry, I will definitely be taking photos. I might even go live or post something that so y'all can see the costume. Um, I'll see y'all on the next one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And um, if y'all are on the Patreon group, I did post the um, Patreon journaling prompt, the paranormal Patreon journaling prompt where... Um, writing on witchcraft or witches this this week because um if you've had any paranormal experiences with witchcraft if you practice or a witch if you don't practice or other people's witchcraft um just kind of write about it you know what do you think about it you can even comment um on the patreon post itself if you like if you just want to share but yeah, I'm still trying to um, figure out something new or different to decode for you guys in the Patreon group. Um, maybe I can do, since, you know, October is coming up, maybe we can do like Halloween symbols and stuff like that. I think that'd be fun, right? Mm-hmm. Any good website for, okay, thank you so much, good night. Okay, yeah, I'm very nice. See, but, see, uh, mm -hmm. trying to read some of these comments before I go. Thank y'all everybody, Candice, girls win ever, sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Blissful Beauty, Jody Joe, Miss Poetic, just thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I hope she gives you a shout out. Yeah, I just did. Beloved Fire and Ice, sprinkle, sprinkle. The Queen, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yanamization, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, I see you. All right, y'all. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go. I see some of the questions I didn't get to answer, so I guess I'm going to answer one real quick. How do you optimize the law of rhythm in your favor? By causing it. Control the, control the swing of the pendulum in the law of rhythm. Know exactly where it's going to stop and where it's going to start planet. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See y'all later. Bye.